The man shrieked and took a step closer to you. The gun in your hand was shaking, but you were still trying to hold it straight at him. Stop there, or I will shoot you. He acted like he got scared of you, then shrieked. Then do it. I am waiting to see your guts. Let me see what you got from the mafia king. You are going to regret it. He is not going to leave you. He laughed like a maniac, and soon his eyes turned darker. I am regretting it from the day he stepped into this mafia world. But you know, everyone made a mistake in their life, and all mafias is also a human. He forgot that the mafia never love anything, but he made the mistake to fall in love with you, and look where you bring him to the edge of his death. Count your life on your fingers, because if he gets to know about you, then that will be the last day of your life. He again laughed and looked at you, taking a step closer to you. That's what I am waiting for. Kill me before I kill him. He started taking a step ahead while you start walking back until your back hit the wall. I said to stop at your place or I will shoot you. He didn't listen to you and neither stop. You close your eyes tightly and again warn him. I said stop it. Your eyes were closed but you can hear his footstep getting closer to you. Your fingers on the trigger get tightened as the heart was beating so fast. Last time, just stop it where you are. One more step closer and you are going to see yourself in a funeral. This is what I am waiting for, either yours or mine. Let's see. Gun fell from your hands and your heart dropped when you feel something wet on your face. You were so shocked that opening your eyes to see what happened became the tax for you. A gasp escaped from your mouth when you saw the men lying on the floor, all covered with blood. You see around and within a second everyone present in the basement except you fall. The blood left their bodies making the dark room covered all with blood. You touch your face and looked at your hands and tear left your eyes when you saw blood on your face, on your clothes. Your body starts shaking and the next second everything blank out around your eyes. You opened your eyes and found yourself in the middle of the crowded place. Everyone was looking at you with anger in their eyes. Turn to recognize the place but you know you never had been there. You try to find someone familiar to you but nothing works. Suddenly they start shouting at you. You were not hearing them properly but as their voice start getting clear to your ears, your heart start aching. You are a murderer. Your place is not here. Die, you won't deserve to live. You are covering your ears, crying in a mess but their voice was still crystal clear to you. You shut your eyes tightly and scream with your full power. Stop it! Every point present in the room flinched when they heard your scream. You balanced yourself grabbing the table but those voices kept screaming in your ears. You cover your ears and so that you can't hear the voices but they kept echo in your ears. You lose your balance and hit your head with a table that make your forehead bleed. Please stop it, I didn't kill anyone. People around you tried to stop you but you didn't listen to anyone. Blood all over your face and glasses scattered on the ground make everyone gulp in fear. Darling, listen to us. No one here is to hurt you. We all... I'm going to go crazy. You cried. Everyone feels so pity on you that how a girl who used to be sunshine of everyone's crying finding herself alone. Yen, Jungkook ran to you and grab your shoulder shaking you gently. I didn't kill anyone. Please stop this. You didn't listen to me, love. You didn't do anything wrong. Jungkook's eyes were all teary. It's the first time people saw Mafia King broken in front of them, and they all get emotional by the scene in front of them. Jungkook, please de- tell them to stop. I can't bear this anymore. They want me to die. He cupped your face and made you look at him. They are not. Please listen to me. You whip his tears and sat on the floor sobbing loudly. Jungkook wrapped his arm around you and parted your back. Everything going to be fine, why? No one blame you. We believe you. Please don't do this. You slip putting your head on his shoulder. He was throwing your hairs while his parents were looking at you with concern. She still didn't come out from that trauma. He hummed as his eyes were fixed on you and lips curled up in a smile looking at your sleeping figure. I'm scared. What if she did something to herself? 
Mom, it's hard for some mafia to sleep after killing the people. That what can I expect from an innocent soul like her? It's not so long she faced all this. But what if she is the one who shoot them in fear? I mean, what if in fear he chuckled and shook his head? She can't even think to hurt a bug. Hurting someone is far in the list. And moreover, my man struck the place and the gun she was holding had odd bullets in. There is someone else who did it knowingly. And about her health, what are you going to do about this? It's getting worse as days are passing. She is getting proper treatment and even medicines and therapy. But it seems not to work. Why don't you try to do something else, like something which make her feel things? Look what she made herself, that she didn't even feel her pain. Jungkook looked at her with confused look. I mean, taking a relationship to the next level. A child has some positive energy that will surely help her to live and... Mom, she is already going through a lot and it's hard for her to handle herself. How can she able to take care of a child? And I don't want another life to suffer because of me. I am regretting a lot of things now, not anymore. I want to give all my attention to her, only her. She really means a lot to me and seeing her like this, my heart aches. She smiled and nodded. When you born, I was so scared because people used to say you are going to be cold and cruel like your grandfather. But I am so blessed that YN come in our life. She really changed you. You really had a gold heart, my son. He smiled and again looked at you with tearful eyes but a sweet smile. She is my soul and I can't live without her. Jungkook switched on the lights and his heart dropped when he saw you sitting on the floor beside bed, curling in a ball. Your hands were covering your ears and tears were continuously dropping from your eyes. He sits beside you and slowly put his hands on yours. Why in? He calls your name in a low voice more like whisper. You lift your head and as soon as you saw him, you throw yourself in his arms and start crying louder making his heart ache. Jungkook, they are already here. They are going to kill me. I am not a murderer. It's, it's not me. I don't kill him but they are here. Jungkook tightly hugged you and shook his head. No one is here. You are all fine, sweetheart. No one going to kill you. I am here to save you. No one dare to lay our fingers on you until I am here. Then why do they keep calling me murderer? I didn't kill anyone. He was the one who kidnapped me. I just hold the gun to protect myself but didn't kill them. No one is calling you murderer. Everyone knows you are innocent and you again covered your ears and scream. Stop it. I am innocent. Jungkook, they look they are coming to kill me. I don't want to die. Please Jungkook, save me. I am getting sick of this. It's making me go crazy. They are here. Just look around. They are coming. I can hear the first steps. Why you look at me? Just look at me. You are fine. No one is here. Jungkook, they... Why you look at me? Why you? He shouted making you look at him with your teary eyes. No one is here. We both are alone. Just calm down. We are alone here. I'm not going to die, right? He shook his head, unable to speak anything and hugged you tightly. Nothing going to happen. You are not going to die. You rested your head on his shoulder and sobbed silently. Jungkook came downstairs followed by you. You were still looking down and dry tears on your cheek show how much you cried to forget all of that. Did you have your dinner? He said without looking at you, to which you nodded. I already do. Miss would serve it to me. And medicines? Are you taking them on time? You stay silent like you were thinking something and nodded slowly. I, I do. You said getting unsure of yourself. Miss Wood, did she have her dinner? He said calling one of the maids who works in her 60s. Yes, I do. No, she won't. She said looking at you shocked but your eyes were more shocked than hers. But, but didn't you serve me dinner? I didn't. You said you wants to eat with Jungkook. You looked down getting teared up but a young maid understand the situation and walked towards you. She already had it. Jungkook looked at you and sighed. So you are not hungry anymore. You shook your head lightly. Well, I am also not in the mood to eat today. The so let's have some soup, okay? He said smiling at you, you nodded slightly and followed him into the kitchen.
Everyone knows that you start forgetting things. You can't remember anything, but they always pretend like it's all okay, and you are not sick. Jungle try hard to make you feel okay, but seems like not to work now. There is nothing right with her. Th this accident gave her shock. Jungkook's fist clenches as he got up from the chair angrily. I already knew about that. Just freaking tell me why there is no progress in her condition. The doctor flinched but he kept it normal. Even she is taking your medicines properly. Medicines are not everything. As much as I got to know about her, she is in depression. She keeps hearing those sounds of guns and her mind kept repeating the scene and reminds it her de depression which creates imagination on its own. I'm not here to listen what is it. I wants to know why it is still. Why I did send her to the therapy every day just to hear this from you. Just freaking tell me what's going on. She even start losing her memory. You have to stop all this now. She needs a break to relax her mind where no one can remind her of that incident. Take her somewhere peaceful and give her some time, love and care. As much as her mind got distracted, she will heal as soon. Therapy is for relaxing your mind for the short period. It's only you now who can heal her and control her. But what if this plan of yours won't work again? Think careful before taking any decision because I won't spare your life this time. The doctor gulped in fear and his hand was shaking looking at Jungkook's red eyes. That was happened. I'm here from 20 years and in these years I saw lots of cases that were different in many ways. Believe me, this time she needs you more and the more she remains happy, the more she wants to live. Depression is a killer, more dangerous than any other disease. No medicine work here. All we can expect is from the person to keep believe on himself and try to heal. Now it's in your hands and in her belief made her happy as possible. Try to make her forget all the bad memories she got in these few months. Try to love her in every possible way so she can feel things again. Is there something special? Why are we here after so long? Jungkook take all the luggage inside and smiled at you. I thought to give us some quality time and I know how much you like this place. I bring you here. You looked around and wants to smile but the sorrow in your heart didn't let you. This place holds lots of sweet memories of yours and Jungkook that had a special place in your heart. That's why you love this place this much. And just like every time there is only you and me. No one even knows we come here. No one going to disturb us about anything. You walk to look at the house and Jungkook start putting the stuff inside. This time we are here for a little more time, maybe 2 or 3 months. You stop and turn towards him. Is this because I am sick? You are not sick. It just you are a little unstable. Jungkook, you whisper in a low voice, but he stop you in middle knowing what you going to ask him. Let's not talk about anything related to that world. You used to say this place is a new world for you and a new world is to make memories, not to remember the old ones, right? You nodded and looked down. Jungkook walked near you and hugged you tightly. We are going to talk things later. First go get a hot chai. Until that I will make something for us. You nodded and walked towards upstairs while he take out his phone which was vibrating for so long and answered the call. What happened? Did you find any clue? I don't care what you will do, but I want that man right in front of my eyes within 2 months. Now work properly. Now will you tell me why we are here? Jungkook stopped cutting the onion and looked at you with his teary eyes. If you again ask this question then I will going to cry for real. You chuckled and wiped his tears. You never said we are going somewhere. You were busy this week. Not anymore. I come here because you like this place, don't you? He made you sit on the counter and put a slice of apple in your mouth. We are here to see snowfall. Your eyes froze in confusion. But it's not the time for snowfall. Then why this early? He sighed and focused on his cooking. You said this place hold magic and what if some magic happened and we got to see snowfall at this time? With that he start cooking while your eyes were staring every inch of his face and smiling. Forgetting every inch of your pain that what he wants when he decided to take you here. 
You looked at Jungkook with teary eyes and he pouted. You don't like it? Should we go somewhere else? Is it so cold here? You shook your head and also feel so happy seeing how concerned he is for you. It's so beautiful, more beautiful than we come here last time. You know how much time it takes me to fix all these things and you will be proud to know that I do it all alone without anyone's help. And if you like my work then at least smile at me. You smile weakly at him. He put your hair behind your ears and smile. It's okay don't force yourself. Smile when you feel like happy inside. You nodded slowly making his heart skip a beat. You like this snowfall. He looked at out the window but soon feels the lips on his cheeks. You quickly kiss him on his cheeks. Wow, my hard work paid off. He lay down on the bed with his arm open. He looked at the ceiling. You are my energy booster, you know? You didn't listen to him as your eyes were out the window feeling a sudden peace inside you, like you were somewhere out from the stress of the world. Jango got up and take out something from the nightstand beautiful flower for a beautiful lady he said kneeling and extending the flower at you lilies but you always bring roses for me he nodded and sits beside you wrapping his arm around you i do but this time when i visited the place the lady said that the lilies is the most beautiful thing on this planet so what roses are equally beautiful I bring them so I can prove it wrong. No one is more beautiful than my Vyan. She is the most beautiful thing I can ever see. And look these lilies are also jealous of your beauty. You stare at his lips how beautifully he was taking out those words from his mouth and how loved his eyes was looking. What happened? Why are you looking at me like this? My name looks more beautiful when it's come out from your mouth. I can do it every second if you want, you know. I never understand how can someone be so soft-hearted. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. I am the one who should say this. It's you who changed me. You are the one who made me live like a human. I was dead. You make me alive. It's all because of you. The one who is blessed here is me. You look down on being a little sad. I'm troubling you a lot, right? Not really. You know like this I also get time for myself. I just have a request for you. Don't think about the accident. That was not you. And if it was you, then also you did well and killed such a moron. But I didn't kill them. I don't even know how to use a gun. Then how he hugged you and nodded. Isn't it enough that I believe you with my whole heart? That's what I actually needed. I don't care about others but you. Then you had my belief. You can never do anything which hurt others. You hugged him and a tear left from your eyes. Sam and the other bodyguards smiled at each other sitting on the rooftop and spraying the fake snow outside the house to light up your mood. Jungkook smiled at Sam and he showed him thumbs up. Love is so a beautiful thing on this earth which can change a dangerous mafia and also a depressed person. The only healer you can get deep in your heart. 2 months later. The person tied to the chair laughed like a psycho and looked at Jungkook with his dark eyes. Jungkook's jaw clenched looking at his smile. You think I'm fool like Sujin? He just want to kill you, but I wants to see you suffer as you do with others. Jungkook punched him making his lower lip bleed. I told him to kidnap your lovely wife because I know your only weakness. I am the one who kills all the men present there with your wife. The girl who can't even hurt a bug, how can she kill someone, right? Jungkook's face clenches as he badly wants to shoot all the bullets in his heart. My plan worked when she loses her mind and you loses her. Her depression become my pleasure and your weakness. At the party and everywhere she feels like losing herself. It's my man who remind her of all those things. The only way to take revenge on you. Physical pain was not enough for you and killing you were not that satisfactory. So I got the way to put you down. You don't even know what you bring yourself in. If I was afraid of the result of this, I won't dare to do this thing. Now I am going to tell you what the hells look like. He again punched him and then pointed his gun at his head. Kill me if that satisfied you. Jungkook shrieked and put the gun down. Not that easily. Torture him till death until he begged you for his death. 
He ordered his men and left from there in anger. Jungkook entered the living room and saw you standing near the window enjoying the view. Are not you feeling cold? You turn to him and flashes a smile at him. Where were you? You know I was looking for you in the whole house. You stood with the pot and again turned at the window. Jungkook wrapped his arm around you and smiled. My wife is looking in a good mood today. Look how beautiful it is looking out. He sighed and nodded looking at the falling snow. You know my mom used to say nothing can represent love better than snow because when it snow you can hear the heartbeat of your lover which can tell you that you are not the only one whose heart goes crazy by the closeness. Like I am hearing yours right now. You look down all blushing at his words. Shall shall we go out for a bit? No, you might catch a cold. You looked at him and narrowed your eyes. This is the real snow, isn't it? He looked away pretending like he doesn't know what you were talking about. I never knew snow can be faked too. Don't pretend like you don't know anything. Last time you faked the snow with the spray, didn't you? He smiled but quickly hid it behind his innocent face. I don't know what you are talking about. You might see some kind of dream. I don't believe you. Let me check it myself. You said and walked out of his arm but he quickly pulled you back to your place. Okay, I did fake the snow last time but I didn't do anything this time. It's totally real. Are you sure? Why are you looking at me like this? Why would I lie to you? You better not to. And a peaceful silence filled the room as you both were enjoying the view. You had your lunch? I do and even take my medicines, but I am feeling hungry again. Can you make something for me? I think you really like my cooking. You know the first thing a girl want in his life partner? What? His husband should know how to cook tasty food. That's the next level of happiness. He laughed at your silly fact. So you also wish the same? You turned to him and shook your head while trying to look into his soul with your soft eyes. No, my wish was to marry you and to love you. That he couldn't able to control himself and hugged you tightly. You smiled and wrapped your arm around him. Thank you. Thank you Vyan for not giving up. Thank you for everything. You smile weakly that the thing is still in your mind and shake you with goosebumps every time but you don't let it affect your life and relation. How can I give up so easily? I am the wife of a mafia king and getting weak doesn't suit me. He smiled and sniffed his face in your neck. How about a movie night? Okay, but I will choose the movie this time. But remember, it's movie night, not a drama night. Then you also have to keep your eyes open till the movie ends. He saluted you and picked you up. Okay, my lady boss, my queen, I will do as you said, but first let's have something. 